Hi guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can set up a system that allows you just to have one player sleeping on your server to skip the night. You often have the issue on servers that the night can't be skipped because not everybody is in bed and so if it's raining you can't get rid of the rain either and it's raining forever on the server. With that, this won't be that way anymore because one player is enough to skip the night and get rid of the rain if it is raining. This is as close to survival single player as we can make it. So let me quickly show you. It's just one command block. I will show you how to set this up in just a moment. But uh, I need to set it up on here real quick. So that's it already. And if we change it now to night and uh, Chrysia goes into the bed, we can see that the night is moving forward in a quick speed. So there you can see the stars are moving. If we take a look at the moon, there we go. It is now day again and Chrysia is out of the bed. We are doing that because we don't want to change the local difficulty and so we are not setting time, we are adding time. And so fast forwarding the night. This can also get rid of rain. So if we make it rain and night, you can see that uh, if Chrysia is now sleeping, the night will skip forward again and uh, the rain will be cleared. So that is how it works also without command blocks and single player. There we go. It is now day again and it is nice weather. So just like in uh, single player, the night is being skipped. I will show you how this works in just a moment. But before we do that, I quickly want to show you how to set this up. To set this up, you want to go to the spawn of your server and then teleport yourself to the bedrock level. Therefore, I recommend teleporting yourself to the same coordinates and minus two in the Y coordinate and make sure that you're flying because otherwise you will fall into the void. Also, you should be in creative mode and you need to make sure that your operator on the server and command blocks are enabled. Then give yourself a command block, place this down and paste the commands that you can find in the description into it. Then just grab yourself a power source and power this command block. And this will then already create the commands. You can see them right here. And then the system is already set up. So if we then go up to the top and we would be sleeping, then the night would already be skipped. Now I quickly want to explain how this is working. What you can see on the sidebar there is already the objective we are using for tracking if somebody's sleeping. And I modified this command a little bit so we can see what is going on. And if I summon this in, you can see that we are using an armor stand right here. This armor stand is uh, needed because we need to find the spot where spawn is. And if Chrysia is now sleeping real quick, you can see once again a that the sleeping scoreboard is going up. And when it reaches 100, it will start to skip the night. And then you can see that there was a uh, snow golem spawned. The snow golem is then spread to uh, around the spawn area and the spread players command always teleports it to the top of the world. And because of that, we can see if it's raining because if we change it to rain and night now, then we can see that if Chrysia is sleeping again, that this uh, snow golem is teleported up and will be dying. If the snow golem is dying, we know that it is raining and uh, so there you can see it. Uh, we can toggle downfall and uh, we are having uh, the sun again. There's basically one flaw with the system. That is if spawn is located in a place where A, it would snow instead of rain or B, it would be as hot so the snow golem always dies. So this system needs to be set up in a biome where uh, it is raining and the snow golem is not dying if you just place it down immediately. But if that is set up in a system like plains, forest or any of those normal biomes, then the system is working really well and you can get rid of night and rain just as if you would be playing single player. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then of course feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.